hello friend welcome to our channel so if you are from the manufacturing background or from the product design background so you may heard about the injection molding process first we have the reaction injection molding generally we call it as a rim so unlike the conventional injection molding so reaction injection molding uses the uh, two liquid reactant which will mix together so the reactant are generally polyol and isocyanate which chemically react inside the mold and form the polymer and will get the lightweight strong and excellent impact resistance component of the product so generally this uh, uh, reaction injection molding uses to manufacture the automobile bumpers enclosure and some medical equipments next is thermoplastic injection molding which is most common type of injection molding so here we heat the plastic pellet until they become molten and then the molded plastic is injected into the mold and then we cool the mold and solidify into a desired shape and the best part of this process is we can reheat and reshape it means it is highly recyclable so this process is generally used for making the consumer goods automobile components and packaging materials so for that the thermoplastic is very famous next we have thermoset injection molding so the thermoplastic process is recyclable but the thermoset process is not recyclable means in the thermoset plastics we can uh, use the part we can uh, recycle it and we can reheat and uh, manufacture the part again okay but in thermoset uh, injection molding once the part is solidify or once the part, uh, product is made after that we can't remelt and re uh, manufacture the component because this process is thermoset plastic we use the material thermoset which which we can't remelt so when we are injecting into the heated mold the thermosetting polymer undergoes the chemical uh, cross linking reaction and making them rigid and heat resistance so this method is used for uh, electrical housing engine components and heat resistance tool next we have the over molding so if you see our toothbrush with a rubber grip so generally it is ma uh, made using the over molding process so this process involves the uh, uh, involves the one material uh, over the another material so we will add the soft layer over the hard plastic base so it it enhance the uh, uh, grip aesthetic and the functionality of the part over molding generally uh, uh, used uh, for the tool handles medical devices and the uh, electronic ca uh, casing where we require the grips and the uh, aesthetic uh, requirements are there at that time we can use the over molding process similar to over molding uh, in the insert molding we generally place the metal component we generally call it as a preform component in the injection injection molding and we add the plastic uh, materials around the metal so uh, this create the strong mechanical bond with the secondary assembly step and it's uh, widely used for a threaded insert electrical connectors and medical devices so for fastening purpose where the assembly is very important and rigid uh, bond we needed so at that time we use the uh, metal and around that we use the plastics so uh, this process is very important where the assembly uh, strength and the fitment is important what if we need a hollow part with a reduced material uses so we have the gas assisted injection molding so in this process the pressurized gas usually uh, we use the nitrogen is injected into the molten plastic inside the mold and uh, this create the hollow section and uh, reduces the weight without compromising the strength 
so it is a perfect for the automobile panel furniture and the large enclosures for the medical baby care and high temperature application we use the liquid silicone rubber generally we call it as a lsr injection molding so lsr is the two component uh, material that cure inside the heated mold and creating the flexible biocompatible and durable product so think of the baby uh, pacifiers gasket and medical implant so these are the components we generally made or manufacture from the lsr injection molding next we have the multi shot injection molding so this one is the advanced technology which allows the multiple material or the color to injected in a single shot or in a single cycle and creating the complex part with the seamless bonding so commonly this process is used to manufacture the automotive interiors consumer electronics and multicolor products if you need a very small or a tiny products integrated components macro injection molding is the solution so this process produces the ultra small plastic parts with the extreme precision and this is commonly used in a medical devices electronics and micro gears next we have the cube molding so to speed up the production generally manufacturer requires the cube molding this one is the technique where mold rotate and allow simultaneous injection and cooling this will increase the efficiency and reduces the cycle time and it is widely used in high volume production of the consumer goods suppose you need a lightweight and the strong parts so at that time we use the structural foam molding it uses the uh, gas or the chemical blowing agent to create the foam core structure and uh, reducing the material uses while maintaining the strength and uh, it is commonly used for manuf uh, for manufacturing the furnitures uh, automotive panels and industrial enclosures suppose you want a high quality branding so at that time we use the in mold labeling uh, iml and in mold decoration imd this method uh, here we insert the pre printed label or film into the mold before injecting the uh, plastic uh, material so it is commonly used in food packaging consumer electronics and appliances next one we have the water assisted injection molding so a variation of gas assist molding uh, uh, water assist injection molding uses the pressurized water to create the hollow section with the smoother inner surfaces so this one is uh, great for the fluid carrying components like pipes and automotive ducts last type of injection molding is the powder injection molding pim so for a precision metal and ceramic part we use the powder injection molding including the metal injection molding and ceramic injection molding this process create the complex high strength part for uh, watch component medical implant and aerospace so friend these are the 14 types of injection molding each with its unique advantage and application so choosing the right process is the key to achieve the best result so friend these are the 14 types of injection molding processes we have discussed so each process having the unique advantage and application choosing the right process is the key to achieve the best result so if you found this video helpful hit the bell icon and subscribe the channel and also like this video and share with your friend so see you in the next video thank you for watching